Hello guys, Casper from Turtle here. Today I want to talk about how we do design for certain viewports in, in Turtle. So right here I have a card component you might say, and I want to change that based on my device width or my user's device width or a certain viewport uh, in the user's browser. In this case it looks uh, fairly familiar, it's a row layout, but if I adjust this particular design it shifts and it's sort of more like a column layout with the picture on top and uh, the text beneath. I can expand again and at this certain viewport my design is changed to a, a row format. I can go even further and then I have my my background change. I'm not certain if that's a, a real use case but uh, you get my point. Uh, this is done by utilizing this small style section up here in my, my style panel. I can add a new one. Uh, right here I have one for above 480 pixels and one from above uh, 1024 pixels. That's sort of a design that applies when my viewport exceeds this uh, set limit. I can go and set a new one, just like so. Pressing the plus icon, go down here and I can set one for, for instance, 1200. Or I can opt in for these additional options down here where I can set the viewport design based on uh, an above threshold or a below threshold. And the same goes for the, the height in my in my viewport. Let's first, uh, for the fun of it, just go and add one for a design that goes below 400 pixels in the viewport height. There you go. I'll add it. And let's just, for the fun of it, let the background color change to something like an orange when I go past this um, and viewport height. Let's see if it works. Go in here and I shrink my uh, viewport. Yep, and there you go. It turns orange. Let me demo it again. This layout for this viewport. It changes, becomes this uh, background color and it goes like this when I'm at the sort of the mobile breakpoint. Yeah, that's how we do uh, viewport styling in, in total. See you guys. Bye bye.